Hey YouTube family, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Marie and I do go by Kim. I am a registered nurse planning to bring you content on how to get accepted into nursing school and the life of a med surge slash travel nurse. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like my video and like the past videos. So I am at work. You can see in the back we have i'm in the locker room it is currently 2 30 in the morning my time so it kind of slowed down my patients are sleeping and i was like why not just shoot another video since i'm i'm done charting everything is done so might as well make it useful so i did write some stuff down so i will be looking down at my notebook so i am going to bring you five tips on things you should do before getting before picking or before starting nursing school the first one is to do your research I can't stress enough the importance of doing your research what I mean by doing your research is to look up the school online do your own search look up schools in your area look at their accreditation because some schools may tell you that they are accredited but and they're really not accredited and if you do go to a school that's not accredited you can still sit for the NCLEX you can still become an RN but some employers will not hire you if you attended a school that is not accredited so make sure they're accredited by ACEN which is A-C-E-N or C-C-N-E and if they are accredited by any of these bodies it will be listed on their website somewhere and also make sure you look up their tuition rates now some of you may be fortunate enough you can attend some expensive schools you have the means to do so but others have to rely on financial aid some of us have to pay out of pockets for school so the cost of tuition does matter to some so just make sure to research that but also be mindful the public universities or public colleges they tend to be cheaper, but they also tend to have a longer waiting list. So if you have plans to obtain your RN in a quick or short amount of time, the private school might be the quicker option for you, but it may not be the most cost effective. Um, the other thing for you to research is also their graduation rates. If you're attending a school and their graduation rates are 20%, meaning that out of the students that attend or start their program, only 20% of them go to finish the program as to like graduate or take their NCLEX. And also you could also research the NCLEX passing rates. So out of their graduates, how many of them actually do pass the NCLEX? How many sit for their boards the first time and pass? For example, the school I went to, I think our class, last semester was like 15 students and all 15 of us passed the first try so that always looked good on the school also look at their placement rates placement rates meaning how many of their grads after passing the NCLEX find an employment within six months of graduation yeah you can graduate from school yeah you can pass your NCLEX but when you go to a job interview are they going to hire you does your school have a bad reputation for having bad employees that also plays a role when you go into your interviews if they have hired five students from your school and they all have been bad the manager most likely will not hire students that graduate from that said school and the second advice is to speak to an academic advisor after you do your research it is best to speak with someone these individuals are placed to give you advice, a place to create an academic plan that may fit your need. Now, some school does, some schools do a better job at drafting up that plan for you. That's personalized because some people may not be able to follow the full time track. So make sure you ask before you sign up for school. Do you allow full time? part-time tracks am i allowed to take one classes one class per semester those are pertinent questions you would ask your like your academic advisor just to make sure it's something that is doable 
for example, if you're a single mom, you have to work a full-time job, you may not be able to go to school full-time. You may be able to still complete a program, but it just may take you longer. But the ultimate goal would be to become an RN. So the academic advisor could draft a plan specific to your particular needs. So speak with them. And throughout the program, if you need to drop a course, you need to pick up the course load or anything you need to do to your schedule, they'll be the one you would need to speak with. Kind of when you were in high school and when you had that guidance counselor, but they just call them academic advisors. My third advice would be to apply to multiple programs. I know you may want to go to XYZ school, but it's best to apply to many schools just to increase your chances of getting into nursing school. And also do not wait last minute because some nursing schools do have requirements that others do not. So you may have to take an extra course for this nursing program. So the earlier you start the process, the earlier you'll be able to get closer to your goals. So you can apply to multiple schools. Some of them have a wait list. And while you're wait listed at, at a community college, you may get accepted into the private college down the street and be able um, to complete the program. I have a friend when I was starting my nursing program, she was enrolled at the community college. She was on like a wait list or whatever. When I was done, she was still on the wait list. So sometimes it's best to have backup. Like if plan A doesn't work, always have a plan B or a plan C. Now, advice number four, once you are accepted to a nursing school, stick to the plan. Do not let anything discourage you. Do not say, I don't think I'm smart enough to do this. I don't think I'm ready. Oh, I have this obstacle because the obstacles are going to keep coming. They ju they don't just go away. It just doesn't, oh, I'm starting nursing school. Life is peach. It doesn't work that way. You still have issues. You would have to balance your work schedule. Your manager may not want to work with your work schedule. You may not be able to quit your job because your job will be the means for you to pay school. So you just have to find a balance between work, your personal life, and also school because you know that what you want is to ultimately become an RN. So you need to make the necessary sacrifices to accomplish that goal. Now, the last advice, which is the most important advice for everyone, is to study. Nursing school is not easy. If it was easy, there would not be such a great need for nurses. We would not have such heavy patient loads and nurses would not get paid the way they do if it was an easy career to get into. So just remember, if you get into the program, you can complete it. You can get the coursework. And yes, nurses do fail classes. It is okay if you fail a class, take the course again. Now you know what to tackle on. Now you know what studying methods you need to change, if you need to change your routine where you study, how you study, who you study with, just find out what worked best for you in order to be successful. If you fail a course, do not think it's the end of the day. I know people who have failed courses and they're great nurses. I know people who have failed the NCLEX before and they're great nurses. Do not let that discourage you. Do not let that hinder you from your career path. Just charge it to the game move forward, do better next time, you know what you did wrong, fix it, and continue. And again, if you need any help, study tips, people I could refer to you that have YouTube channels that do studying tips, I will always be there to refer. And if you have any comments, questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. And also subscribe to this channel. I will be posting more content. I think the next video that will be coming up is the prerequisites that are required to get into a nursing program. So I will get that video posted so you can know. Now some school do have different requirements slightly, so it's just going to be a generic prerequisite requirement. It's not going to be tailored to a specific school or a specific area, just basic requirements to get into a nursing program, basic GPA requirements and things of that nature. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and hit the bell and you will be notified when the next video is up. And again, thank you for joining me and welcome to my journey. Bye.